Hey YouTubers, this is Robert from Genesis Healthy. Um, just got the new Omega 8006 juicer and just wanted to give you a lowdown on uh, how it comes shipped. We got ours from QVC because we like the three payment option on it. A little bit more affordable because these are expensive juicers. But there's the box and I'll open it up. Alright, here's the Omega 8006 with the box opened. Everything looks well packaged, well put together well-designed boxing nothing looks damaged and here is the Omega 8006 unpacked everything was undamaged well packaged well put together something of uh, notice that I I, uh, I noticed <laughs> as I was disassembling it uh, I like how the bins nest into each other for easy storage and this goes in as well they do include the strainer on the homogenizer something that I didn't really see on a lot of other videos out here is the inside that is a stainless steel insert right in there and it's um, those ridges are like uh, I equate them to a type of rifling but it's not rifle because it doesn't spin, but it's that, that kind of raised edge that's like rifling. And the edges are very, uh, very sharp edged, which is what does the homogenization, homogenizing and the cutting rather than it going out through the juicing screen that would be on the regular screen. But I thought that was well made. It's stainless steel embedded into the plastic uh, plastic form and also the regular juicing strainer this is the newer type which is the solid plastic first stage screen looks very strong very tough uh, I think I like it better than the stainless steel one from what I've read from other reviews and also on this one inside that is a stainless steel forming of the screen into the plastic. You can see the where the plastic, black plastic or the black whatever plastic they, this is called, some kind of high strength plastic, and then it is formed around the stainless steel insert which has those cutting bars, cutting rifling or whatever inside of it. The squeaking that you sometimes hear on the video, which uh, on other videos, uh, I couldn't quite understand where the squeaking was coming from, but that's these urethane type seals that are on this. And also there is a seal inside the mechanism where the shaft goes in. So that's probably what you're hearing squeaking when you hear it, it begin to juice it sometimes. Here's the new eight times more, uh, eight times stronger auger. It looks very robust. Stainless steel shaft. And uh, it looks quite formidable. You would not want to get your hand caught in that. You would juice your hand to be sure. That looks quite formidable. Anyway, well packaged, well designed. Everything looks undamaged. Now to do the maiden juicing. One of the things that I also noticed on the other videos, specifically making nut milk and coconut milk and butters and whatnot, is this screen uh, on this model. Uh, it tends to have not do as well as like the Vert 330 um, because the fluids needed for let's say almond milk for example tends to go through this grate and make a water, uh, water, watery almond milk now looking at this I've been thinking of a solution to make this better because uh, I know that the factory hasn't come out with anything yet but something I'm pondering is this has a raised lip right around here eventually I'm going to try to fabricate a little piece of foam or 
something to go and cover these holes right here, forcing the almond, the water that, that is dumped in with the almonds from draining right out through there initially and forcing it into the cone and, and doing the actual milking process, the homogenization of the, well, not even homogenization, um, the grinding of the almonds into, with the water to make milk. Uh, it does have a raised lip and it looks like that could be doable and the way it slides in there looks like it supports it well right under there as well right under there so I think that's an experiment that I may do in the future now because I'm a the kind of person that likes to know how things work and and what makes things one product better than another you pay for the quality of this machine one of the things I, I notice is interesting is there is the seal that goes around the auger the augers right there the seal goes around it that is what the dry pulp gets squeezed out through right that that little tiny crack which shows you how compressed that pulp is as it's juicing and as it's wasting the pulp. But I wanted to show you that because I've never seen any close-up examinations of this print or of this juicer before and wanted to share that. Here are some of the vegetables we're going to do on the maiden juicing of our Omega 8006. Uh, no real recipe here, just going to juice a little mix of everything that we're going to typically and normally put through here. We've got celery, carrots, cucumber, Granny Smith apples, and over here we have some green spinach. And we'll put that through the juicer. There's uh, it's making some initial noises. I'm noticing now that the cucumber I'm going to have to split down further because it won't fit in the slot, the chute. So these, these kind of juicers do require more prep than the centri centrifugal juicer that we have typically used. It doesn't quite feed it in on its own. It'll sort of bounce it, but you give it a little push and it goes right in. We'll see how it handles the celery without cutting it down, because I have heard that you should really cut it because the celery uh, strands tend to wrap themselves around the augers on some of the other ones so we'll see how it handles that and I just use the vegetable itself to push it on through as you can see the pulp is coming out pretty dry haven't need really used the plunger at all yet and even the apple won't go through the chute without being cut down more So if there was any detraction on this juicer, it's that, that you uh, have to cut down your vegetables more and fruits, vegetables more than you would normally through a centrifugal huge opening juicer. Robert, can I stop? One. One. Because I need to go. Let me do the spinach here real quick. My wife has to go pick up my daughter at school, so she's my film associate. I'm going to jam this spinach in here.
I find that uh, with the plunger, just like I said, uh, just like I did, give it a little hand pop rather than try to mash it down. Just give it a little tap and it'll go through. And there comes the spinach waste. It's definitely been eaten up. It's definitely not whole leaves. Our centrifugal juicer on spinach will come out sometimes with chunks of leaves, not even ground up. All right, that's an example of the juicing. I'm going to continue juicing the rest of the vegetables, but no need to bore you with video of watching vegetables get masticated. All right, I've finished the juicing of the vegetables and fruit as my test. One thing you'll notice, I did use the strainer that comes with this juicer, and you can see that it catches quite a bit of foam. There's the foam, and, and it doesn't look like too much debris, but definitely it's catching the foam. That's a foamy uh, mixture there. And I'm um, not sure if I like the foam or don't like the foam yet, since this is the first time I've used it. Uh, I'll experiment with it, but that is with the strainer. And that is the pulp that's left over. Extremely dry. I don't think you could squeeze much more moisture out of that stuff. Let's check out the juice. the juice. Alright, had to pause the video while I got a glass. Always helps to have the glass ready. Stir the juice up. And pour it in a glass without spilling it while trying to film at the same time. Alright. I would say it's an olive, uh, olive drab kind of uh, looking juice, and let's give it a taste. Definitely no graininess. Very tasty. Easy to swallow without the foam. There's a little bit of foam that sticks to the edge of the glass. Very little foam on top. I think I like that uh, foam remover strainer. I think that works pretty good. And there we go. Omega 8006 Masticating Juicer. This is Robert from Genesis Healthy signing off. Hey YouTubers, this is Robert from Genesis Healthy. Uh, just got the new Omega 8006 juicer and just wanted to give you a lowdown on uh, how it comes shipped. We got ours from QVC because we like the three payment option on it. A little bit more affordable because these are expensive juicers. But there's the box and I'll open it up. Alright, here's the Omega 8006 with the box opened. Everything looks well packaged, well put together well-designed boxing nothing looks damaged and here is the Omega 8006 unpacked everything was undamaged well packaged well put together something of uh, notice that I I, uh, I noticed <laughs> as I was disassembling it uh, I like how the bins nest into each other for easy storage and this goes in as well they do include the strainer on the homogenizer something that I didn't really see on a lot of other videos out here is the inside that is a stain